there is one company whose products I wanted to review for a long time now. I'm talking about APM telescopes and their very well regarded ultra flat series of eyepieces. Well, I finally got my hands on one and today we are going to take a deeper look at the 24mm version. So let's get on with this video. Hi, I'm Bogdan Damian and welcome to Video Observatory. APM Telescopes is a German retailer of high-performance astronomical equipment. They got into the optics business over 30 years ago by selling premium apochromatic refractors and in the time since they expanded their portfolio to include other telescope types, eyepieces and accessories, thus becoming one of Europe's leading retailer of astronomical equipment. What makes them so interesting is that they partner up with premium optics manufacturers like LZOS to offer some high quality products, one of them being their own ultra flat lineup of eyepieces. This series includes 5 eyepieces in total with focal lengths starting from 10 and going all the way up to 30 mm. Interestingly, just like the eye relief, the field of view also increases as you move up the focal length range, starting at 60 degrees for the 10 mm eyepiece and ending up with 70 degrees for the 30 mm eyepiece. One of the more popular versions of this lineup is the 24 mm. Mostly due to the fact that it is the longest focal length you can get and still retain the one and a quarter inch form factor, which in turn allows for a high compatibility with almost every telescope out there. The eyepiece comes in a generic box with only a microfiber cloth, the eyepiece itself and two dust covers inside. Beside the 24 mm focal length, this eyepiece also features a 65 degrees apparent field of view, a very generous 29 mm of eye relief and a field stop of 30.2 mm. This eyepiece is on the heavier side when it comes to 1.25 inch eyepieces, with a total weight of 331 grams. At the top it offers a rather basic rubber eye guard that folds down to allow observations with eyeglasses on. Around its waist the housing offers a rubber grip ring and at the bottom the one and a quarter inch wide barrel features threading on the inside which allows for the use of astronomical filters. Now. I tested this eyepiece both in combination with the F5 12 inch ProDub from Omegon and the F7 4 inch SV503 refractor telescope from Siboni. Observations were made on multiple occasions from my backyard on nights with good seeing conditions under Bottle 4 skies. So how did it perform? Well, let's break it down and start with the optics and the optical performance. The 24mm ultra flat features no less than 8 lenses in 5 groups that are fully multi coated, which might lead you to believe that this eyepiece could have a problem with brightness. But it doesn't. The views were bright and with good contrast. The views of the crescent moon were especially amazing, lots of wonderful details were to be seen as I panned across the surface. The field of view with its 65 degrees is wide enough to offer an immersive experience, but the party piece of this eyepiece is the ability to form a flat field of view. It's like a window through which you can observe the night sky panning across the sky doesn't convey the fishbowl-like effect present with other eyepieces. The only letdown is that the field of view isn't as sharp as I hoped it would be. Center sharpness is fine, but as you start to move off-center, the view becomes a bit less sharp, especially near the edges. This is not a deal breaker and it's not by much, but it's definitely noticeable. Even though this eyepiece has 8 lenses, they are well corrected. The lenses 
also have some excellent coating applied to them because I wasn't able to notice any significant chromatic aberrations or unwanted internal reflections regardless of the telescope I used. Speaking of telescopes, my favorite pairing for this eyepiece was with the SV503 refractor telescope. Here I was able to enjoy the view without any chromatic aberrations otherwise present in reflector telescopes due to the curvature of the primary mirror. In terms of viewing comfort, the 24mm ultra flat might not have a fancy twisting eye guard, but the one it features is good enough. It's soft and more than capable of shielding your eye from unwanted light sources. And as mentioned earlier, it can also fold down if you prefer observing with your eyeglasses on. And thanks to the very long eye relief of 29 millimeters, you can really do this without a problem. Observing with this eyepiece is a comfortable experience, in part also because it's very forgiving in terms of eye positioning. You can place your eye easily within the eye guard without needing to worry about blackouts or odd angles where the view gets obstructed. The extra wide top lens with its 37mm only helps to further improve the viewing experience. Regarding build quality, the 24mm ultra flat is very well put together. Between the weight and the dense feeling like the housing is completely filled with glass, the 24mm ultra flat definitely feels premium when holding it in hand. An eye guard with a smooth twist in mechanism might have been nice, but it's certainly not essential. In terms of compatibility with different accessories, the ultra flat is really uncomplicated. When pairing it with a 2x bello from Teleview, I didn't notice any strange behavior at all. The eye relief got a bit longer, extending outwards a couple of millimeters, but no aberrations were present and this is the most important thing. The eyepiece in combination with the bello was able to offer good views even at half the focal length. As mentioned earlier in this review, the 24mm ultra flat also features a threaded one and a quarter inch barrel, which allowed me to attach any type of one and a quarter inch filters without a problem. Adding a UHC filter for DSO observations or a polarizing filter for observing the moon really made a difference noticeably improving the views. All right. So the 24mm ultra flat from APM is shaping up to be a very good mid-tier eyepiece. But how does it compare to other options on the market? In order to see what this eyepiece is really made of, I directly compared it to the 24mm panoptic from Teleview, one of my all-time favorite eyepieces. In this comparison, the APM performed better than expected, with the biggest difference between the two being in terms of sharpness. Here the APM just couldn't keep up with the excellent pan optic. In terms of brightness and contrast, however, the ultra flat from APM was able to hold its own. The pan optic was still the brighter eyepiece and had more contrast than the ultra flat, but the differences were less pronounced. Build quality wise, the ultra flat is just as well put together as the panoptic, which is no small feat. And finally, regarding the viewing experience, here the APM really shines. The large top lens and the long eye relief give it a clear advantage over the panoptic. This and the fact that the ultra flat costs only a third of the panos asking price make it a very interesting alternative. Compared to the 82 degree series from Explore Scientific, the ultra flat offers a relatively similar performance. The Explore Scientific manages to offer a little more brightness and sharpness with contrast levels being more or less on the same level. The field of view of the Explore Scientific is considerably wider, but it's definitely not as flat as the APMs. 
The build quality is also similar, but the 24mm 82 degrees from Explore Scientific does cost twice as much, making the ultra flat from APM a very intriguing choice, provided you don't value a larger field of view so much. Otherwise, consider the Explore Scientific to be the overall better eyepiece of the two. And finally, to get a more complete picture. I've compared the ultra flat to the SV171 zoom eyepiece from Siboni. Set to a focal length of 24 mm, the zoom eyepiece came out to be the lesser eyepiece between the two in every aspect but the price. The APM managed to offer sharper and brighter views that had more contrast than the Siboni. The field of view on the ultra flat is also considerably wider but the price is also higher. Even though price-wise the differences between the two is substantial, I'd still get the ultra flat for I believe it's worth the asking price. What APM managed to put together here is a really compelling package. While the 24mm ultra flat doesn't offer the best optical performance in its class, it is still a very capable mid-tier eyepiece, one that is also very fairly priced. So whether you are looking to upgrade an existing eyepiece or to buy a new one with a medium focal length, then definitely check out the 24mm ultra flat eyepiece from APM. It might be the right one for your eyepiece collection. Anyway, that's been it. Let me know what you think about this APM 24mm eyepiece and the whole ultra flat lineup for that matter. I'm curious to get your opinion on this one in the comments below. I hope you all enjoy this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave. Thank you for watching and catch you guys in the next video.